So when I grew up, my mom raised me in a church up until I was probably about, I'd say nine to 10 years old. So I always had this idea and concept of Jesus and of God, and I definitely believe God was real. The idea that there was actually a loving heavenly father, you know, a father who wanted to protect me and provide for me and take care of me, that was just was so out of, out of my mind. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. Um, I grew up without a father and around the age of 10, I ended up in foster care in a group home system and I bounced around from place to place, five different middle schools, six different high schools and four different states. I couldn't keep a steady group of friends. I didn't have a family. Everywhere I went was new and different. And this entire time, all I longed for was to be a part of something significant, to be loved and to love people, to have a brother, to have a sister, to be a brother. And of course, to be fathered. My entire life, I just searched for meaning and longing and acceptance and purpose in life. The only way I could see to do that was joining a gang. You know, it seemed as if those were the only people who cared to show me what life was about and help me and protect me. So at the age of 11, I joined a gang and I began doing lots of illegal things for provision and to protect my friends and all sorts of things. And I just didn't see an end to it. Then a miracle happened later on in my life. Um, I had an encounter with God and I was at a point where, you know, I had football dreams and life dreams and all sorts of things and everything came coming to a, like a screaming crash and I just didn't know what to do. I was in the middle of a really big legal battle. I was sure that I was actually going to be in some trouble and have to pay the consequence. Shortly after I ended up starting to come to church, a friend of mine invited me and when I came, I immediately felt like I encountered a family. I started encountering the love of God. Even though I didn't really know what the love of God or the love of Father was, I felt it. You know, I could see it and things in me began to change. And little by little, I noticed that God would kind of show me like, hey, I'll protect you. I'll take care of you. I'll provide for you. And there was this one defining moment. I remember when, um, like I said, I was in a lot of legal trouble and I went to court with my grandfather knowing like, okay, this could be it. And I had been going to, you know, back in church for about, five or six months and I knew I was just in trouble. It was over, it was done. And at the last second, the people who were kind of pushing this against me just dropped the charges. And uh, they told the lawyer like, we don't know why we're doing this. We're just, we're just gonna drop it and let it go. And I was able to walk free. And in that moment, I realized like, wow, God actually did that for me. God provides for me, he protects me. And ever since then, there's been encounter after an encounter of just like love and protection and provision. and. My heart's been changed. The anger from my childhood is gone. The frustration, the despair, everything's gone. And I've truly encountered the love of the Father. I'm Joseph, and I believe in miracles.